What's up everyone, I'm back. Sorry I was gone for so long, it's for reasons I cannot explain why, but I am now here to teach you fusion summoning. For fusion summoning, you of course need the fusion monster and a fusion card. This is the classic fusion summoning card. Without this, fusion summoning would not be possible back in the day. It is of course called polymerization. And as I showed you in previous videos, this is a fusion monster because it has a purple frame. Now if you look closely, you, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but it's listing the fusion material needed to summon it. Now let's get into how fusion summoning works. I already showed you the fusion card and the fusion material, the fusion monster. Now, it listed the fusion material, so you need the actual material needed either in your hand or already on the field. Either one works. So, how fusion summoning works is you play the right fusion card, you pick your fusion monster to summon, you send the required monsters to the graveyard, again, they can either be on the field or in your hand or both, either one works. Send them to your graveyard, summon the fusion monster you targeted, and you fusion summoned. Simple as that. Now, for the fusion material of each monster, it varies on what monster you want to summon because each monster has its own unique fusion material to summon it. So, if you don't have the right fusion material monsters, you won't be able to summon it at all. Now, there are certain cards that will allow to act as a substitute. I will not be able to name them because I don't know them. But, if you do have a substitute, the rest of the fusion material has to be accurate. You can only have one substitute. No more than that. Now, that's how fusion summoning works. We'll get into, there are different ways to fusion summon, but we'll get into that later. Next episode, I will teach you synchro summoning. So until then, later.